uh, so it's me again um, and this isn't obviously another way in because it's only been a day but um, I just thought I'd um, check in and see what um, everyone else is doing um, and a few questions really um, since I've lost, um, lost well I've nearly lost two, two stone um, but I've recently got loads of stretch marks which obviously I know that's from losing weight but I was wondering if um, there was anything I could do to get rid of them so uh, I know I've I'm sure there's a kind of oil you can get I'm sure someone's told me that but I forgot which one it is um, and then um, I know when I was younger and I used to get quite a lot on my um, on my chest area and um, Palmer's body butter but um, I was wondering if you could just use normal cocoa butter because I have um, uh, I have this one from Wilco's um, that my grandma gave me and then I have um, a body shot one as well and obviously I love the smell anyway so I use them quite a lot but I was wondering if the same if it was Palmer's was a particularly um, a particular one that actually did stuff and if this one just smells nice so um, that's that's one question I want to ask if anyone's got any ideas because they're mainly like here on my hips and um, across my tummy and obviously um, I'm not ashamed of them they're, they're my victory marks I'm going to call them so far so like when people give give birth and get stretch marks from having a baby I've got my weight loss marks so um, but it would be nice to kind of get rid if I could but um, make them a bit less prominent maybe um, another one is um, that I just wanted to say that I've been I've been reading this um, in the shops it's really expensive um, on the back here it says it should be 17.99 which is really expensive I reckon for um, for a book it is huge and um, I've had a flick through and then I've started reading it properly and I'm on chapter 10 but it's Cameron Diaz's body the body book and um, I brought it just because I thought well if I'm going to actually do this weight loss journey then I guess I should be doing it and understanding how my body works not just what from like I know like Slimming Run and Weight Watchers you go to group in your um, consultant or tell you stuff but obviously with me calorie counting um, I can't do that and even though I've got some very knowledgeable friends and family um, I think sometimes I just wanted to understand a little bit more about how everything worked and what food affects what and stuff so um, yeah like um, learning that we don't digest fibre low fat stuff are actually really bad for you because they take the fat out but then they put sugar in so um yeah like little stuff like that, that i thought what really um but uh yeah it's really good and oh, i love to look like cameron diaz um, but about being hydrated and she eats lots of eggs and she's on about like making sure you try and get nuts and stuff like that in your diet because um the more natural it is obviously the better it is for you so um yeah i think like, by reading it it's giving me, giving me ideas um giving me ideas to um expand on i guess because i that's what happened with my weight watchers i got i ate the same thing every day so a jacket potato for dinner and then i used to have whatever for my tea and then that was it i used to have the same day thing every day day in day out curly whirly and what's it's for my treats and stuff and then i just got fed up and wanted to eat belgian waffles and i think that was because i was at that age as i said i think about 17 18 i didn't i wasn't prepared i would i didn't want to try other foods if i didn't like it i didn't like it so i guess um being a bit older now and i just i just think you know what if you don't try it you don't know if you're gonna like it so you might as well just get on with it um so no but this is this isn't particularly a diet book it's just about looking after your body and listening to your body but i'll probably um when I finished it, I'll probably do um, I'll probably do a video on it about exactly what it's taught me and stuff because as opposed to just touching on it. Um, and then after that, I have where it is. I have Lucy Mecklenburg. I can't. I can never say a name. I'd say it's my Lucy book, um, which is called Be Body Beautiful. And um, yeah, this is more. Um, this has got more like exercise things in it and stuff. So. I asked people who have been online and shown her that her her book and stuff has worked. So yeah, this is one that's got recipes in and stuff like that. Um, but no, again, I would like to like her too. So um, 
it's yeah uh, I'm going to finish my Cameron Diaz book and then I'm going to read this one so um, I just what what do you I don't know what you lot do whether you just go with it or but um, I just thought this time round I wanted to learn more about my body and about how it works and why my body reacts to certain things and I know we're all different but um, yeah and the other good news is my new Fitbit strap came today I'm not sure if you see it yeah it's all flowery and stuff yeah it came like all the way from China so it's took forever to get here but um, my pink one's getting a bit grubby I've got a, I wear a black work uniform and it and also I work at a DIY store so it gets a bit dirty and it looks a bit grubby so I'm going to try and clean it now I've got this one because this one's a bit darker so it's I don't think it's going to bring dirt up as much so but yeah um, for my breakfast today I made um, I used two eggs for an omelette and I put watercress and mushrooms in there and again I never you can ask um, ask anyone mainly um, my family they're like Holly eating mushrooms no way um, I, I was, I'm a really picky eater so um, but I always used to like to pick up watercress as a kid so like if there was some at windowsill I'd have some you know when you grew it as in nursery and stuff um, what else have I had to, oh and then I've had a chi the Chinese chicken chunks from Asda um, they're, um, they're not too bad in calorie value really for the whole box and I only had a few pieces on two little wraps I think the wraps were probably worse obviously for it being bread but it was um, wholemeal um, wholemeal wraps so um, I've had that and then now I've got a hot chocolate over there I've got a hot chocolate it's the limited edition options hot chocolate which is only 39 calories um, and it's Belgian chocolate and popcorn I had to order them off eBay because I couldn't find them anywhere. So I know that's how bad it gets. You have to start ordering your food off eBay. Um, but yeah, uh, so today's been good. But I think I might be going out for tea with the boyfriend later um, to the Toby Carvery, which would be lovely because we always was going to go to a pub that's not too far from his house. But it's harder for me to choose wisely, and I'd rather go somewhere where I know I'm going to get loads of vegetables, even. Like, I know we don't know what oil they cook them in and stuff, but at least it's vegetables rather than chips and deep fire fried chicken and stuff like that. So, I'm very excited for that. It's nice just to be with him sometimes because a crazy world, slimming and uni and work and relationships, it all gets a bit much and sometimes I think we just miss being with each other's company. So, um, add that bit in there, nothing to do with my weight loss particularly. Um, but yeah, I think uh, like I was saying on my other blog, I'm looking. I am looking forward to doing this journey because I'm I'm so determined, and I'm really looking forward to doing this blog because I feel like I can talk to. I feel like I've talked to no one at the minute with my lack of subscribers, but at least I'm. At least people, some people are there, and at least even if they don't respond to me, at least they can hear me, and I feel like I'm talking to people that get it. I'm talking to people that understand how hard it is so yeah um i'm probably going to check in i hope you guys all have a nice sunny day and a nice evening as i'm probably going to enjoy my toby carver so um yeah have a nice day i'll see you soon bye